Hey guys, Ali Pierce, Ali Pierce Cuba Tech Tips once again. This is not a tech tip. This is an LDS tip. <laughs> local dive store, if you don't know what that is. A local dive store tip. The tip is real simple. Go to your local dive store and scrounge around. Yeah, look in every cabinet, look all over the place. Most dive stores, certainly if they've been around for very long, have all kinds of neat stuff that you've never seen. And you're like, wow, I could sure to use that. Now, I happen to be at Dan's Dive Shop, which is a perfect example because Dan's Dive Shop has been here for the better part of 50 years. Yeah, name the dive stores you know that have been around for 50 years, yeah. Well, Dan uh, started this store sometime in the early 70s and built it into a great business. This is, quite frankly, if I may, nobody's listening, the dive store to go if you're interested in all that kind of interesting technical stuff, rebreathers and, and deep diving, technical diving, all that type of stuff. That's This is the place you want to go. So if you're fortunate enough to live in the Niagara Peninsula, that's north of Niagara Falls, between Toronto and Niagara Falls, or anywhere near that. I mean, we're only, we're only what, 45 minutes to Buffalo, an hour and a bit from Rochester. So anywhere in that area, next time you have a chance, drop in the Dam's Dive Shop. Anyway, I did exactly that. I walked around the store, and don't forget I had a store for 50 years or more, and I found a couple of things that are kind of neat. Now, this I knew about, but I thought I'd bring it out and mention it anyway, because I get calls all the time. I want to put my name on my dive gear. Well, they used to be easy years ago. We took a soldering iron and we melted it. Or we took some paint and we painted it or something else. But now with the new synthetic products, you can't do that. You try to put your name permanently onto a new pair of fins. Very difficult. Your mask skirt, your silicone mask skirt, very difficult. Scuba goop. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't ask me about the name. But go to your dive store and ask if they have scuba goop. Now, scuba goop comes from a company called Innovative. You can't buy from Innovative. They're a supplier, if you like, but they make great. You can go to their website. Innovative Scuba Concepts. Fantastic. I mean, they really are innovative. Their stuff is all really, really neat stuff. But any dive store can order it for you. So you ask them about Scuba Goop. Read about it. Then go to your local dive store and ask them about Scuba Goop. It's a little, a little squeeze bottle of highly fluorescent, there's about 10 different colors, paint, and you can put your name on your fins, your name on your mask, all that kind of stuff. If you're on a liverboard, or a big group of divers, even a shore dive, and you put all those fins and masks and stuff together, it's, it's sometimes it's difficult to find your own. You want to find your own, and you don't want other people finding yours. So scuba group just might be the answer. Now I found something else that I thought was pretty interesting too, that, <clears throat> that is, is, is uh, hard to find. If any of you have zippers, and think of a diver that doesn't have zippers, there are zippers on everything. Zippers on BCs, for gosh sakes. Certainly on a lot of boots, and on, on, on wetsuits, and dry suits, and so on. You know that zippers break. So you've got this fantastic dry suit. It's the only dry suit you've ever had that fits really well. You can put it on and off easily, and it keeps you warm. The three basic criteria for a good dry suit, right? Fits, easy off and on, and keeps you warm. If you have your favorite dry suit, your favorite wetsuit, sorry, and you're working with it, and you have unfortunately neglected, go back into my tech tips and find that tech tip about taking care of your zippers and wetsuits. It's, it's a good tech tip. But you've neglected to do that, and you go to pull the zipper up, and what happens is the tab comes off. Now you got a tab, and you have a zipper that won't move up. Even worse, it won't go down. What do you do? Well, normally you would take the, the wetsuit to a, to a tailor or to a wetsuit manufacturer and pay $100 or more to have the zipper replaced or get a new, new wetsuit. Uh-huh, look here. Fix and zip. That's what it's called. Fix and zip. I don't know. I, I, names I don't know. But basically what this is is the parts that you need to fix a broken zipper. Yep, that's right. You can take a zipper on your wetsuit or on your boots, I suppose even on your BCD, I'm not too sure, and, and, and buy one of these little kits from your local dive store, in this case we're at Dan's, and with these parts in here, you can fix your own zipper. Okay, That's hard to find. It's hard to find anywhere. Certainly in Scuba it's hard to find. So keep that in mind as well. There's another little thing for you to think about. Fix and zip. One more. One more cute little thing that I found here at Dan's. Now I haven't seen this before. I've seen something like this, but this is neat. These are emergency candles, just for scuba divers. They only work underwater. Yeah, they have no wick. No, no I'm sorry, guys. Pull on your leg. This is a, it looks like a candle, doesn't it? It looks just like one of those emergency candles, but it has no wick. Obviously, it's wax only. Now, what do you want one of these for? 
We just talked about zippers. This is how you keep all zippers lubricated. You don't use WD-40 or grease, even silicone grease. All those things, they collect dirt and they don't work that well. But you can rub your zipper with wax, ordinary wax like this. It keeps them lubricated, doesn't wear them out. Now this is the recommended, the only recommended lubricant for dry suit zippers. This stick actually comes from a dry suit manufacturer, a big brand name, which we don't need to mention bare. <laughs> and that's where it comes from. And, and uh, you can use this in all dry suit zippers. That's what it's actually rec recommended for. Okay, so there you go. Another thing to look for in your local dive store. I didn't even know these existed in, the, in this form. So think about that as well. Get into your local dive store. Get to meet the guys, get to know them. It'll pay off, trust me. And watch for those little bits and pieces of things you didn't know existed. They can be a big help in some of your dives. If you have some ideas, keep those comments coming. I love them. Okay, gotta go. Alec Pierce, scuba tech tips at Dan's. Dan's in the Niagara Peninsula, St. Catharines. Yeah, great spot. See ya.